Hey guys, and thank you for checking out a new episode from my, uh, my RPG tutorial. <clears throat> so in this episode here, I'm going to set up the uh, multiple quest line. So that way we can have like uh, basically quests that um, require several different uh, several different options to be able to complete them. Um, what I'm going to do with this one here is I want to set up the uh, bandit camp. Uh, sorry, the goblin camp to be a multi-part quest. So you've got to discover the camp, you've got to kill a few goblins, and then you've got to come and return the reward, uh, reward back to whoever. So um, in order to do that, we have to go to our quest list editor. We're going to make a new quest. I've actually changed some of the quests in here from um, the killer bandit. I've just used that, changed it to teach them a lesson and find the goblin camp. And I will, um, I'll explain those a little bit uh, later. But for now, we're going to create a new quest. I'm going to call this one... Um, Gobble in, gobble out, and we're going to set this one. You need to set it to multiple. So that one there says that it's a quest type that's going to have multiple options on it or multiple states. And we're not going to set this quest uh, stuff initially, but quest objective is going to be rid Salian of the goblins. And then in the description, I'm just going to have it as help the knights defeat the goblin menace. And then we're just going to give it a basic sprite, uh, give it the crossed uh, or an axe, that's fine. Um, I don't believe I need to give it any attributes, no, not on this one, that should be fine. Uh, the secondary quest list data is the one that we need to fill out, so we need to find our quest list. So here I've got the demo quest list for this one. That was the, this is basically what this whole quest list is based on. Um, and then we need to tell it what kind of quest we're going to put in it. So I'm actually going to open this up to two different types. Um, this will filter it out. We need a discover quest because we're going to find the goblin camp and then we need an assassinate quest because we're going to kill a set amount of enemies. Um, doesn't need to depend on any other stuff. The reward, I'm not even going to set up a reward yet. So we're just going to go add quest down here on the secondary quests list. And we're going to add in find the goblin camp. We're going to add that and we're also going to add in teach them a lesson because they're the two that I've got already made uh, in order to do that. And I'll go through those in just a second, so I'm just going to click Create. So now we've got our multiple quest chain that has these two uh, quest goals in it here. Um, so this isn't a chain, you don't do one after the other, um, you can do them both at the same time. They're basically just two goals that need to be completed in order to complete this quest. We'll talk about quest chains a little bit later on, um, but for now I'm just going to go through these. So the Teach Them a Lesson, this is an Assassinate quest. Um, I've set the quest state to In Progress because um, Basically, when it when we gather that first quest that it uh, that it belongs to, we need it to automatically start this quest. Um, so I've put it as in, uh, in progress instead of uh, otherwise it'll pop up as not active. Um, just fill out some of the details. Teach the goblins a lesson. Kill five goblins. We've needed to add the uh, attribute here, which is the quest amount. So that's the value. We've set the quest amount to five. So the value needs to uh, get five. Uh, and then we come down to the bottom here and the assassinate object tag. Now at the moment I've only got it set to enemy. Um, the reason for that is because the enemy models are actually tagged with enemy, so all my goblins are tagged as enemy. Uh, and I know that some of the damage identifier stuff is set to only damage um, enemy. Uh, I think we can actually change the tags without too much problem, because um, there would be a difference between a tag and a layer, and I think we we pass damage to anything on the layer that is enemy, um, but we can tag it something else if we have to. So I can set up a tag later on and I'll experiment with that when I actually set up the goblins. Um, but for now we just leave that set as enemy, so we just need to kill five enemies for this quest. Um, and then I've also got here, I've actually set in a dependence quest list, uh, which is using the same quest list. And I've set it so that I want to be able to find the camp before I can actually kill those enemies, so that way you know, the player can't just kill five enemies on the way and then, then it's sorted, or five goblins anywhere else. I want him to actually discover the camp first and then kill the goblins. So I'm hoping that that's the way to do that. Um, so we'll see how that turns out. We'll close this one and now we'll have a look at the final goblin camp. This is just a basic discover quest. Um, so we've got the, yep, set to discover. Uh, we don't need any of the dependencies or anything else. Just find the goblin camp, locate the goblin camp in the forest. I'll put it to the north. Because in the game it's actually off to the north. And that's it. Now what we need to do is we come across here to our scene. We're going to have our quest giver who's down here. I've got the knight. He's the little knight captain. Um, I'll just see where I've got him. I got up. Yep, captain guard. Then we come down here to his um, yeah, NPC captain uh, location. So this was an NPC quest giver that I set up via the um, 
uh, the wizard at the start. And uh, we come down to the quest provider script. Everything's left as it normally is, um, except down when we come down to here. We've got the quest filter. We're going to drop in our demo quest list. We're going to set the size to one, and we're going to set it to multiple. And now when I click on add quest, we've got goblin in, goblin out. Um, so we just click on that, and that should be fine. I'm going to play that just to test to make sure that he's got uh, everything I need. So I've actually moved the player just to start in the town to make it a bit quicker. You can interact, and there you go, now you can select that. And now you can see on the left hand side I've got the two uh, objectives, and if I click on the start button, go to quests, you can see here, goblin in, goblin out, description, find the goblin camp in progress, teach the goblins a lesson in progress. So that's how we do that, and then uh, if I want to run all the way you know, let's, uh, let's punch this goblin a bit. Oh, I'm out of stamina, so I can't keep punching. There we go. So I can't actually keep a kill count um, using this, I'll have to figure out a way to get the kill count for the teacher lesson to update, um, or maybe even just um, I'll figure out how to do the, the chain quest, so once you complete the discover quest it opens up the next quest and then we can use that to track. Um, but for now we'll just go through and we'll go to Goblin Camp which is up to the north. So just going to keep following the road, I wish I didn't make the map quite so big now. It will pay off when I release the game, but not for while I'm testing. And here we go, it starts to come into view now. So again, I've just got a normal trigger box, and there we go, so Find the Goblin Camp is complete. So now if we go to our quest list, you can see Find the Goblin Camp is completed, and Teach the Goblins a Lesson is still in progress because we haven't set that. Now I'm going to set that back to Active Quest, and it should pop up. So yeah, it sort of deactivates the um, the active quest and then puts it back on. So you can still update the quest, but you just don't have it tracked on your, the left-hand side of your screen. And there we go, that's how we set up a multiple quest. So that's all working relatively fine. I just have to put in the enemies to kill a bit more. Um, Alright, so that's all I wanted to do for this video, just to show you how the multiple um, quest thing works. Uh, the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to start setting up the um, experience, because uh, someone else has already asked about that, and uh, yeah, it is about time that we start chucking in the experience, why not? And um, I'll show you how to uh, yeah, gain experience from killing enemies and from completing quests. Uh, again, thanks for watching.